Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen and this is my channel. Welcome. So before I get into my video, I want to let you guys know about something that I have been using for the past few days and it has helped me tremendously and I know that there are quite a few people out there that could probably benefit from this as well. And that is a new Timmy blend that I was sent to try. They contacted me and wanted to know if I would be interested in trying a new another blend or if I wanted some more of what I had. I already repurchased the Teamy Skinny. And I want you guys to all know beforehand, I will always be honest with you about what I think of a product. I'm not just going to sell a product to you guys or try to sell a product that I don't like or if I find something that is wrong with it. I will definitely tell you and be honest with you. Um, the Teamy Skinny, I love. I or even repurchased it with my own money. Um, the Timmy colon, being completely honest with you, is a bit harsh for me. It says to drink it every other day, and I found that that is a little harsh for my stomach, so I do use it once a week. So when they reached out and asked me if I wanted to try another blend or if I wanted a, another product, I said sure, and I decided to try the Timmy Relax. Because, as I've talked about before, I have a really hard time sleeping. I've dealt with insomnia for many, many years. And I've not wanted to get medicine for it. The doctor has offered medication, but I don't like to take medication if I don't have to. So I've just kind of struggled with it over the years. So when I saw on their website that they have a relax blend, I thought this is going to be something maybe that might help me and lo and behold it has helped quite a bit I've drank it for three nights in a row now and the past three nights I have slept at least five hours at night so that is a huge improvement for me I feel so much better when I'm sleeping in the evenings or when at night time and it just makes a world of difference so I made a little cheat sheet so I can tell you guys what's in it and all the good information about it and the ingredients in the Teamy Relax is peppermint, yarrow, lemongrass, lavender flower, chamomile, orange peel, and valerian root extract. And this tea smells so good. I honestly love just the smell of it. It smells like... You can definitely smell the chamomile, but you can also smell a very light peppermint smell as well as a very light orange. The top notes I would say would be the chamomile, then the peppermint, and then the orange, and it is delicious. They say you can use lemon as well as honey or nectar to sweeten it if you like, but I found, as with all the Teamy blends, I've not had to sweeten it or add anything to it. It's very tolerable to drink just as it is, and it's very mild. I guess that's the word you would call it, is mild. And like I said, the peppermint, it has a nice light peppermint taste when you drink it. And what they suggest that you do is use a teaspoon and you can either put it in your Teamy tumbler or you can just put it in a regular tea diffuser and you steep it for three to five minutes before drinking it. I usually steep it for a little bit longer than that, usually probably about 10 minutes so it gets a more rich flavor, but it's still very mild, but it gives it a more pepperminty flavor and I enjoy it quite a bit. So what are the key benefits of using Teamy Relax? First, the blend of chamomile, valerian root, and lavender flower helps reduce restlessness and insomnia. The peppermint helps you relax the lining of your intestines as well as reduces irritation in the intestinal tract. It also helps fight acne, alleviates headaches, helps fight allergy breakouts, and this is the time of the year that allergies are going through the roof because spring is just around the corner. And the lemongrass is used to calm muscle spasms and tightness, and the valerian root helps with anxiety and insomnia. So it's definitely has a lot of benefits. I found that after drinking the tea, it takes about 
probably about a half an hour after I drink the tea and I can feel myself getting very relaxed and very sleepy and it's not anything that's going to knock you out as like some kind of a prescription or a medication would it's just a very relaxed feeling you get and it makes it very easy to fall asleep there's no caffeine as well so you definitely don't want something with caffeine before you're ready to go to bed so as always Timmy has given me a coupon code to give to you guys and that is LBJ15 and that will give you 15% off of your entire purchase plus you get free shipping after $35 so it's a really good deal I usually never buy anything unless I get free shipping because shipping can be very expensive so definitely check that out if you're in the mood to try any of the teeny relax it's definitely a good time to do that because with the time change I know the time change alone messes with sleep patterns and your sleep schedules so it's definitely a good time to try some teeny relax to help you get some extra sleep or some sound sleep. Also, I found a link. I was Googling because I like to Google the ingredients in the teas and stuff before I drink it. So I know exactly what I'm drinking. So I found a link that leads back to the Teamy website. And it says it's a 2017 deal, but the link is still active and the special is still active. So shh, don't tell them. But grab it before it's out before they sell out or before they realize that it's still there maybe but the deal is you get a bag of the teeny relax and this is just for the teeny relax you get a bag of teeny relax you get a teeny tumbler in blue as well as a tea diffuser strainer in blue as well and all of that is $49.99 an amazing deal it retails at $69.99 and you can also use my code for 15% off and you get free shipping on that. So it's a great deal. So like I said, it says it's a 2017 special, but it's still active because I tested it before to make sure that it was still good so you guys could grab the deal if you want it. I will leave a link for that. There's a specific link that you need to click into the Teamy site to get that. So if you just click on that link, you can pick that deal up. Like I said, it's a great deal. Um, it's $49.99 plus 15% off and the free shipping. So basically you're getting a little over one product. You're paying for just like maybe one and a half products and you're getting three. So it's a really good deal. I would definitely check that out before they realize that it's still there. So shh, don't tell anyone. Um, so yeah, try the Teamy Tea. Try the Teamy Relax. I definitely recommend it. I have struggled with insomnia for a long time, and this is actually something that is helping me, and I'm going to continue having this every night before bed. I'm very excited. All right, so let's, ooh, I'm so excited, I'm shaking, guys. All right, so let's move into the rest of the video, shall we? All right, we will start by drawing the Universe Has Our Back cards for the day and see what the Universe wants us to know for today for Monday, March 11th, 2019. I don't know if it's surreal for you guys, but it's hard for me to believe that it's 2019, it's almost 2020. Very hard to believe. I remember when it was just gonna be to the year 2000, when everything, all the computers were gonna break and everything in the world was gonna come to an end after 1999. But here we are almost 20 years later and the world is still going around. All right, let's pick a card. All right, the card of the day is, I am a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. Another beautiful card as always. I'm having my water, my some morning water in my decaffeinated cup. Well, actually this is the caffeinated. And since I'm not having any caffeine in it, it's actually the decaf. Love this mug. Okay, so there's not a whole lot I want to talk to you guys about because I did the random 
Saturday video. I did a kind of check-in on Wednesday with you guys, so there's not a whole lot to fill you in on. Um, I had a really busy, productive weekend. I hadn't planned on being productive at all. I had planned on just reading and that's about it. But I ended up putting my bookshelf together and also I set up my printer. I cleaned off. I have a big table in my bedroom because when I moved up here I had a, live, a kitchen table, a little kitchen dinette little table given to me so I didn't need my big one so I put it in my bedroom and for a long time it's been like a catch-all for all kinds of junk and not actually junk junk but just things I didn't know where else to put them they all just got thrown on the table so over the weekend I cleared off my whole table I have a basket on my table with all my journaling and crafting supplies in it and my stickers for my journals and I made really good time this weekend and I set up my printer so I have kind of like a little workstation going on in there I'll show you guys I know some of you who have asked for an apartment tour I am almost ready to show you there's just a couple more things that I want to get to kind of make it perfect for me I know it's not going to be perfect for a lot of people but to make it perfect for me and then I will show you my apartment there's not really not much to it um, my living room kitchen is combined and then I have a big bedroom and then a bathroom but I like it it's a lot of room for me and my fur balls so I think it's perfect so one thing I do want to talk about is something that I found while I was cleaning out this weekend cleaning off my table and that is I have found so many notebooks and so many pages and journals that I have wrote down I'm doing this diet starting with this many calories and today is day number one of this way of eating and grocery lists and meal plans and even dating back to last summer um, and it made me think about it made me feel bad at first because I've had so many setbacks and times where I just quit trying and where I wasn't committed to losing weight and it was kind of heartbreaking to see how I made all these plans like a couple of them were like when I made the my little star chart I bought foil gold foiled stars to give myself a star every day and that didn't turn out to work right and well actually it would have worked if I would have done it it was just I didn't do it so of course it didn't work and it made me kind of sad at first because I thought about how if I would have just been serious about my weight loss how much I could have lost and how I could have been down and I could have had my surgery by now. I was hoping to have had surgery this spring, which doesn't look like it's going to be happening this spring, maybe this summer, I would hope. Um, it's just, it would made me feel bad at first, but I tried to look at it in a positive light that I'm still trying to move forward. I haven't given up. And I have finally found something that is going to work for me this time. That is something that I really love about the Obesity Code plan is if I decide I don't want to fast one day, I don't have to fast that day. I can eat normally, eat low carb, three meals or whatever it is that I want, and then just fast the next day. It's not a very rigid set that you have to do a certain thing on a certain day. There are guidelines that you have to follow, of course, but it's a not a very rigid thing. There's no counting of calories or getting all crazy with things. It's just very basic. So it made me sad at first looking at all that stuff, but it made me feel positive about that I have found something that I feel very positive about. All those things I wanted to feel positive about, those the gold foiled star theories and the 1600 calories and the all these other things I wanted to feel positive about but I just really didn't feel it and I tried to but it just wasn't there for me and this I feel excited about and I feel hopeful for and I really feel deep in my soul that this is going to be something that works for me long term so in finding that it reminded me of a screenshot that I saved from a post on Facebook and I printed it out so I can read it to you guys and I don't know who wrote this this was just a post from a page on Facebook called the Crystal Goddess 
and I will link that page in the description below if you want to follow the Crystal Goddess because she has a lot of cool things that she shares and perhaps she wrote this herself and I don't know her personally I just know her I found her through a podcast and that's how I have followed her so here is the reading that I screenshotted because it really resonated with me and it reminded me of all my past I don't want to call them failures but all the past attempts to lose weight that I've had and the things that didn't work out in my life not just weight loss but all the other things in my past that didn't work for me but then something actually did work and this that reminded me of this so this reading that I want to share with you guys is one of her posts and very regularly she posts little snippets about insects or animals as well as the crystals and different things so this post was geared towards the dragonfly this delicate creature has a powerful story the dragonfly spends its first years of life living in the water one day when it's ready to change the dragonfly climbs up on a reed and miraculously begins to breathe air crawling out from its old skin and unfolding its majestic wings which were there within its body all along. It's now carried by these wings to a new existence, a new plane of reality, which would seem too fantastic to be real to its other tiny friends living in the pond. The challenges we face in life will leave us forever changed. As a dragonfly story illustrates, we may even appear to vanish from our friends but we have simply changed forms. A challenging path can allow us to gather strength that we need to use the inner courage we're born with. After this difficult transformation, survivors and those who fought gain a new, beautiful kind of power. There are stories of those who believe dragonflies visit us sometimes as messengers for loved ones who have passed on after undergoing this transformative journey. So keep this tale in mind next time you see a dragonfly. I thought that was so cute and touching and so real about how we are all capable of change. And one day when we're ready, we just change and the old self becomes lost and the new self blossoms into a new existence and a better existence than we even imagined. And we just have to wait and be ready for that change to happen. So that kind of tied in with my finding, it, that encouraged me after finding all those old things that I never really followed through with. And now that I'm ready to follow through with this, I hope I can be that dragonfly and find my wings and fly away. All right, so we'll end the video as always with the mirror work, 21 Days to Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. And today we are on day 10, and it is loving your body, healing your pain. The lesson today is about pain, what it is, where it comes from, what it's telling you, and what you can learn from it. And this is the passage that I want to share with you guys from the reading for today. The body, like everything else in life, is a mirror of our inner thoughts and beliefs. It is always talking to us, if we will only take the time to listen. I believe we create every pain and illness in our body. Every cell within our body responds to every single thought we think and every single word we speak. The body is always inspiring to achieve optimum health, no matter what we do. However, if we abuse the body with unhealthy food and unhealthy thoughts, we contribute to our discomfort. Pain comes to us in many forms an ache, a scratch, a stubbed toe, a bruise, congestion, uneasy sleep, a queasy feeling in the stomach. Pain is the body's way of waving a red flag to get our attention. 
It is a last ditch effort to inform us that something is wrong with our life. When we feel pain, what do we usually do? We usually run to the medicine cabinet or to the drugstore and take a pill. When we do this, we are saying to our body, shut up, I don't want to hear you. Your body will quiet down for a while, but then the whispering will return, this time a little louder than before. Imagine what would happen if you were telling your friend something important, but she wasn't listening. You would say it again, probably louder. If she still didn't listen, you might well become agitated and lash out. Or feeling hurt and unloved, you might shut down. Sometimes people actually want to be sick. In our society, we've made pain and illness a legitimate way to avoid responsibility and unpleasant situations. If we cannot learn to say no, then we may have to invent a disease to say no for us. All right, we will end with the day 10 meditations and affirmations, which are inclusive today. And these are positive affirmations for your health. Here are some positive affirmations to support your health and healing. Repeat them often. I enjoy the foods that are best for my body. I love every cell of my body. I make healthy choices. I have respect for myself. I look forward to a healthy old age because I take loving care of my body now. I am constantly discovering new ways to improve my health. I return my body to optimum health by giving it what it needs on every level. Healing happens. I get my mind out of the way and allow my intelligence of the body to do its healing work naturally. I have a special guardian angel. I am divinely guided and protected at all times. Perfect health is my divine right and I claim it now. I am the only person who has control over my eating habits. I can always resist something if I choose to. Water is my favorite beverage. I drink lots of water to cleanse my body and my mind. Filling my mind with pleasant thoughts is the quickest road to health very fitting for me my channel and as well as you guys out there who are following along on a weight loss journey as well all right that's it for today and i will see you guys back for tomorrow have a good day everyone bye